a vintage uh, decent model right there oh <laughs> superstar first box yeah 50 and 45 these are sold prices on ebay taste seller sigma made japan this is actually kind of neat oh weird guys that's definitely one of the strangest things i found recently guys oh yes guys okay now we're talking oh come on it's like a, a, a squash with the little beads on it what's in here silken let's see what silken is oh boy Jimi hendrix huh there's the signatures there seriously this is uh, like some decent stuff it's more batman there's star wars that's cool powerbot r9000 pioneer this is a nice little turntable All right, Locker Nuts, it's Locker time. We paid 1400 bucks yesterday at the live auction for this unit. I think it's 10 by 10. It looks good, it looks good. If you watched the last episode, you saw us buy it at the auction. Lots of fun. Um, got home, bought another unit, cleaned that out last night. That one stunk. I should have just stuck with this one. This one looks really good. You're gonna see in a second why I'm excited. And I think I got such a good deal on it. 1400 bucks, not, not a small amount of money, but for how much things were going yesterday, one locker sold for 30 grand. All right, watch the last episode if you wanna see what that looked like and who bought it. But this one right here, 1400 bucks, I think it's a good deal. But we're gonna find out in just a minute. You ready to get in it? It's locker time. <laughs> yes oh okay yeah even though it's been a day i must say that i was remembering what it looked like and it actually looks better sometimes i go in almost all the time i go in and i say they look worse than i remembered this one i think it looks better than i remember why is that because um more boxes and just cleaner the last one we went through gosh that was dirty <laughs> and moldy literally moldy and this one hmm I like it. I like it a lot. Look at these air conditioning. Hopefully these are air conditioning units. Mm, frigid air, I think it is. Last time I bought one, it was a, a, a humidifier. So, or a dehumidifier, rather. Decent piece, but this, I think, are air conditioning units. Right now it's April, so this is getting close to warm season. I might just stick these in my storage locker and save them till it gets in the, you know, the high temperatures, 90s, 100s, over 100. These will sell much, much better than right now where it's like 60s, 70s. But um, yeah, guys, look at all this. Of course, I love, I love me some black and yellow totes. I'm a sucker, but I actually like bank boxes too, banker's box. I don't like them when they're full of paperwork and most of the time they are. Not most of the time, but a lot of times they are. But these, look in there. I don't know if you can see, it's a little dark in here. We actually have an LED light that's out right there. That one's out, so we're working on only this. No light inside here, but um, when I had my flashlight, man, it lit them up really good and I could see in some of the handle holes there and there, are, it looks like product in there. It does not look like paperwork. It looks like anything but paperwork, you know? See right there's some plastic bags right here something soft maybe clothes i don't know but uh oh man looks good totes over here uh boogie boards right here i like that those are not big sellers but just profiling the previous owner i like it they were into recreational sports equipment i kind of like that this i like right here vove oh vove a vove or vove clico that's very expensive no super expensive but a little bit higher end champagne all right i don't really drink much champagne or drink much at all but oh look at that nice old glasses and then it's got room for the bottle right here bottle's missing but that's okay we can add a party we can have the party um cool yeah nice i thought that looked like an interesting little uh box or bag or whatever and it is it is it was worthy it was worthy river stones huh I think so maybe they had some kids all right oh yeah but this let's i'm kind of looking around here looking around there this i love these trunks wilson case these are expensive on their own but often you know music equipment or something expensive in there um can't say i've ever found anything expensive in there except for that time we found the dj the big long flat one i thought maybe guitar or gun but it was a dj setup that, that was a few hundred bucks but this thing another chance another chance this right here sensui all right, it looks like a decent speaker. Kind of interesting, I only see one. Maybe the other one's hiding in here. I don't know, usually there's two. 
Sensui Classic DAS755. Let's look that up. That might be a vintage, uh, decent model right there. Uh, this had me kind of curious too. This bike, because you see, it looks like an older bike. Definitely looks like 70s, early 80s maybe. Uh, 26 inch, 10 speed it says, okay. Uh, but with a newer seat right there. That, I don't know, that something about that made me a little bit more intrigued. Another of the buyers that we got to know, uh, his name was Josh. He told me that he knew a little bit about bikes. He thinks that's a couple hundred bucks right there. I don't know. I certainly hope so, but I don't know. Uh, I was completely, I was thinking 40, 50 bucks would be happy, but a couple hundred bucks, I'm more happy. What are we got in here? Oh! <laughs> This is a very good sign, guys, right there, all clad. That, okay, is used, right? You see signs of wear in there? I think that's still 25 bucks at the, at the, mar at the De Anza market, not in Stockton. But there's another all clad. This is a great brand right here, all clad. Again, used, uh, signs of wear, rather. And um, I think it can be cleaned up, though. Good, 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 good. This one's got some scratches on the bottom. Not a deal breaker, right? Still, it's an all clad. Uh, easy 10 to 15 bucks in that condition easy another all clad yes Ooh, four all clads this is a very good start guys very good start whenever i see pots and pans i'm hoping it's all clad there's some other good brands too but that one is just a great great seller everyone knows that brand actually this oh not all clad okay bialetti bialetti we had one of these a turkey pan or roaster or whatever it was all clad Sold that, I think, the last time we went to uh, De Anza, perhaps. B. Aletti. That sounds Italian. That could also be a pretty good value. What's this over here? A little drum. Oh. Fun, 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 fun. Okay, see? See why I was excited about hitting this one? Oh, man. I think I woke up at 5 o'clock this morning, and I was just like, oh, I like this part of the job. Last night, we had a Monday live. We do a live show every Monday. Almost always, and I mean almost always, like with maybe half a dozen exceptions in like three or four years, uh, we do an auction on Mondays. Last night we did not do one because I've been so busy and I did, today I, I wanted to be here cleaning this out because then tomorrow I'm going to be hitting the flea market. I didn't want to be packing and shipping, which is what I do almost every Tuesday, pretty much the whole day is packing and shipping. Uh, we didn't do an auction last night, guys. That's a big deal for us and I know a lot of our fans were disappointed by that. And I am sorry if you guys are, whoever's watching is one of those disappointed viewers, but I wanted to, I wanted to come here and play. All right. <laughs> now we're here and now we get to do it. And I'm so glad you're here to do it with me. Let's start digging in. I got my, I got a few items here. I got my table, you know, some garbage cans, a few bins or two bins. I got way more supplies in the, in the trailer and I do have the trailer, but it is not empty. So I don't even know if I could fit all this in there, but I'm only fitting I'm only going to first fit the stuff that's going to market, so let's hope for better stuff. The all clad will not go. The Vouve Cl Clicquot or whatever, that will not go to Stockton. I am going to Stockton tomorrow. Oh, Wall Street Journal Wine Company. Or, what? I don't, never heard of that, but that sounds expensive. Um, mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay. Let's get this thing out. First of all, give us a little aisle. What do we got here? Superstar. 26 inch tents if you saw that already. I don't know what type of bike that is. Superstar, huh? Feels pretty decent. And look, he put new grips on it. The grips feel great. New seat. Somebody was using this thing. That's pretty dope. That's pretty nice. I, I like it. It's got that retro look, but I think this is a fully functional. I think it's been well maintained. Just needs a little air in the tires and this is good to go. And I don't know if anyone's gonna be stealing that, so it works that way too. It looks like you put all new brake lines on here. See, that's all, that's all new. Okay, guys. I did just film a little reel and I peeked in this box here. So let's go back to that so I can show you what I found. And, and check out this cart right here. This has got to be one of the largest carts I've ever seen in a storage facility. That thing is like a barge. It's a little hard to navigate around the corners though. So I might swap it out for a smaller one, but I can move a lot of stuff on there. But check this out. First box. Yeah, that's exciting. Um... As I said, I already I already peeked in here, so I'm showing you what we showed on the reel. Look at this. Garden in a can. Organic cilantro. Looks like they were on clearance for $1.75 each, and he or she stocked up big time. Look at this. You got the potting soil in there, and then you got the seeds right here. Pop it open, add water, I guess. Pretty interesting. And look at this. Liquid feed. Easy as watering. 
grows plants twice as big. Got a whole bunch of liquid fertilizer here. A lot of liquid fertilizer. And then right here we got some seeds. Oh, that's pretty. Morning glory. Nice. Um, I, I it's kind of cool. I'm gonna bring it home and show the girls. Oregano? Is that what that is? Cool. I don't know. Will I show the girls? Ah, jeez. I don't know. That one's partially used right here. I could also just bring the stock in. It is definitely the right time of year to sell that kind of stuff. But we're off to an interesting start, guys. <laughs> Better than paperwork. That's for sure. Okay. Oh. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Those are beautiful. Olive wood bowl from Trader Joe's. Handmade from the wood of non-producing Tunisian olive trees. Oh, dang. Those are nice. They smell good, too. I like wood. <laughs> I think these are brand new. Look at them all. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight brand new bowls here. Those are really lovely. That's not going to Stockton. Sorry, Stockton, but you're not getting that. There's some brand new kitchen towels. Threshold, I think that's uh, Target. I think. I mean, what's this? Oh, it's heavy. Oh, this mortar and pestle right here. Jamie Oliver. Take it to the next level. Crush, grind, bash, pound, and muddle. Brand new, right? I think. That's brand new. That's actually a really nice set right here. These have some value. It's out of granite. Okay, guys. I am definitely digging this locker already. I'm digging it. I saw what looked to be good quality merchandise. That assessment of this locker was definitely spot on. Okay, next box. Yeah. <laughs> Rubber duckies. Okay. I think those can go to Stockton. They're cute though. What are these horses? Uh, okay. Oh, please be Briar. I think these are Briar. This is Briar. Dang. Dang. And that's a that's a boy. Okay. <laughs> um, Briar. Good. 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 Here's another Briar. We sold a whole bunch of Briar horses not too long ago. It's got big old eyeballs. And these duckies are kind of funny. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. We're finding really good stuff. Okay, I also peeked in these at the uh, for the reel. You know, we put some reels up on Instagram and Facebook and stuff. And this is uh, two lanterns. I think these are identical. So, and I did already peek in there. It appears to be brand new. So, nice. Oh, okay, this runs on propane. 1,000 lumens, it's a bright one. I think the ones we found, Camille and I found some recently, those were battery operated, rechargeable. This runs on propane. These are gonna burn a lot brighter and last a lot longer. Let me look up the value on this real quick to determine if we're taking it to Stockton. I kinda don't want to, but. So there's two that come up, 50 and 45. These are sold prices on eBay, but um, I don't think those are identical. They're pretty close though. It is a perfect flow. Um, they're elite. I'm looking at sold comps right now. You guys can see and take that take the sold off and just look at what's listed then here's one for 30 bucks oh pre-owned pre-owned 29 bucks pre-owned 50 bucks um those are not going to stockton that's a little bit better these are these are uh these has got some value right there damn guys okay um if i could get 40 bucks each on that i'll put those on ebay because they do appear to be brand new so <sighs> great stuff goodness how are we gonna get through all this guys the good lockers slow me down junky lockers we can bang out good lockers i slow down on uh, okay this one is a partial set so we got some of these and then uh, whatever this is just normal very very bradley for barnes and noble jeez even that's nice <laughs> okay it looks like it's most of the set here oh 10 oh 10 bucks oh goodwill okay they're shopping at goodwill Hmm, okay, well, man. all right, we'll let it go in the market. I don't think there's a lot of fine wine drinkers out there, but we'll let it go anyways. Ah, dang it, this is Goodwill too. Hey, no, nothing wrong with the little bargain shopping, but I don't like finding lockers full of Goodwill stuff, you know? Those are cool, though. Those are cool. These little jars. Is this the lids? Yep, caps. Hmm. There's another one. Another Goodwill sticker. Six seventy nine at Goodwill. Yep, that's what that is. Just want to make sure. Oh, this one's heavy. Savoir Vivre. Thirty bucks at Goodwill, and that's what it be. Those are nice. <laughs> nice stuff. Okay, Rummy Cube game. 
Okay. Yep, that's what that is. <laughs> it's a little nice little case to put the tiles in. They're organized people. We like that little basket. Gary and or Carrie and Fisher. Carrie Fisher? Princess Leia? I don't think so. What the heck is this? I think these are lanterns or something. Huh. What? What are these four guys? This one's coming apart a little bit. Okay, so there's six of those. What is what are these four? This one is coming apart a little bit right here. I don't know if that's because they are cheap or if it's because it's old and starting to glue starting to de deteriorate. I don't know. Interesting. <laughs> okay. There's plates. Matching set, it looks like. What are these? Everlasting Gloria Vanderbilt. Taste Cellar Sigma made in Japan. This is actually kind of neat. They're a little different. Well, that one is. That's something different. Heinark in Germany. Oh, crud. This is, this is decent stuff here. There's more of the Gloria Vanderbilt. What? Okay, the set was 25 bucks. I thought it said 2,500. I was like, hang on. 25 bucks, all right. This is gonna be good Stockton stuff. A little too good for Stockton, but I can't save it all. Oh, I gotta let it go. Hijacks. The high box. <laughs> yeah. all right. Something for your glasses, I don't know. Miffy, that's nice. A little, that was $1.99. It's a little uh, lunchbox, like trick meal tray thingy it's cool yeah this, this is interesting stuff cupcakes clearance for three bucks perk little coffee maker tuesday morning is 40 bucks compresso the bag's kind of neat too little juicer oh that's neat um, I think those are real pressed butterflies in there. Can't tell for sure. I think they might be real pressed bugs. I don't know. Okay, we'll let it go. Lubricating eye drops. There's some cotton rounds there. Uh oh, what's this? Come on, be something good. Feels decent. Mm, or not. Zipper's a little stiff. Gianni Bernini. It's a little yucky right there. Hmm. Uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. It's not that nice. Estee Lauder. Revitalizing Supreme Light. Hmm. Huh. Doesn't it doesn't appear to be new, but they didn't use much if they used any. So a lot more of these refresh. Oh, Sunday missile. See if we got any hundred dollar bills. I don't know. It, oh, it is a Bible, I guess. Okay. A few books. Leaf balm. That's used up. Cannabis infused body balm. It's used up though. It's a little bit left. Cannabis infused natural pain cream. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. And what's this? Body oil. Wow, check this out. This right here, sold, brand new, sold, $13.50. But it is free shipping, which does absorb some of that. But um, there's a little bit of value here on these. Look at, there's five boxes. This one's a little different, but five boxes sold for 44 bucks. Two boxes sold for 20 bucks. So there's basically 30 bucks there with free shipping, which means you'll probably clear 25 bucks or so. I think I'll put that aside. All right, this right here, Sansui. I popped this open for a real... The speakers look great. These they look really good. DAS55. I think we already saw that on the back side, but okay. So here's a, a pair. That I didn't look at sold. I just looking. Uh, that's for sale. Pre-owned, forty bucks for a pair. No bigs and none in the sold. Okay, those will go to Stockton. That's a nice set though. Um, nice. And, and I say set because look at this. I did spot that. There's the second one right behind this. So it's good. Got a set. Okay, guys. Oh. This feels a little light. It feels a little light. Sometimes I like to wait till the end on these, but right now I'm thinking I want to do it right now. I just want it out the way. Ooh, what a nice case. What? What? Oh, this is so weird. What the heck? Huh, what? 
<laughs> oh, weird, guys. Weird. This is, um, what is this? Is this like a, a half mastectomy or something? It, maybe this goes in a doctor's office to show like what the scar, I don't know what the scar would be, but this is like a, like, a, I don't know, like some kind of s s rubber or silicon. It's got some weight to it. This is not, it looks like it might be like styrofoam or something. It is not. It is definitely harder than, not harder, but denser than styrofoam. And it's like a, I don't know. That's all I can think of is that maybe he's a doctor. That's all I can think of. Why else would you have that? I don't get that at all. That is really, really odd. <laughs> okay. That's definitely one of the strangest things I've found recently, guys. Definitely. They valued whatever that was because of this expensive box they put it in. They protected it. I don't get that. I don't get it. Okay, there's the lamp shades for those two nice lamps. Try not to ruin those. They're really hard to move though. I mean, I always I ruin them. I ruin them. They get ruined. <laughs> okay, here's some toys. It's 30 bucks right here. A little nativity set for kids. Physics workshop. They're raising some smart kids. Good for them. Sketch wizard. Robot mouse. Explore a book. That feels like books. Oh, I got a little mouse poop on top, too. It is books, dang it. Nope, nothing interesting here, guys. Just a bunch of books. Okay. Okay, there's all the lids for the all clad. That's really good. We'll probably add 10 bucks to each of those with the lid. I mean, at the market. The Wiggles, how funny. Seven bucks and some toys. Okay. Yep, that's just what it looks like. River stones, I think it's for imagination. Pretend your living room's a little river. You put these down, try to do step to step. Okay, so I just looked this up and they sell for as much as 50 bucks used on eBay. And um, this one though, look at the handles, good here, but the handle's missing there, or, or broken rather. And there's a little bit of, you know, dirtiness to it. I think it can be cleaned up pretty easily. I'm not sure what to do with that. I think it should be a little better than Stockton. Oh, look at this, though. Oh, look at this. That's funny. Xbox 360, guys. Not one, but two. Oh, yeah. This is funny because I saw those uh, lanterns. I thought they were Xbox 360. And nope, but yep. <laughs> oh, what's this, though? Hey, what? Okay. Automatic herbal medicine decoration thermo pot. There's a mouthful. Um, hmm. NY-638. It looks like it was on sale for $8.99. Probably a Goodwill or something. Oh, look. Yeah, that's a Goodwill shopping bag right there. So that's a Goodwill piece. And that will go back to Goodwill. I'll let them have it back. These we won't, though. These will save for something. I don't exactly know what. But I know these don't, they don't offer anything for them in stock. And I've tried to sell them before. I actually was asking, I think, 10 bucks for one. And then my friend came by, manual, and said, and the guy was like trying to talk me down. And I was like, no, no, you know, get lost. The guy in manual come by and he's like, hey, if you pull the hard drive out there, list it on eBay, sell the hard drive for 25 bucks. That guy doesn't even know what he's talking about. I'm like, really? And he's like, yeah. And he showed me how to do it. I forget how to do it, but I uh, should probably just search for it. I pulled the hard drive out, put it on, boom, sold it. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, let's see what's in here. This one looks really interesting. Whoa, this one's a little heavy. Let's take it out piece by piece. Oh, what is this? What is going on here? This got really interesting. Okay, okay. Guys, oh, boxes. Could they be jewelry boxes? A couple of seashells. Not interested in that, but this, this is a costume, but this looks kind of nice, kind of nice. A little decent costume. Ooh, that's nice. There's... Enamel piece right there. Nice. Okay. I don't see any uh, precious in there. No silver or gold. Mm. Handmade in France. Okay. Now you're talking my language. L Nina Ritchie. Paris. Okay. Um, I think there's just smudges on there. I don't think there's any scratches. So that's a good. There's something from the children's hospital. All right. What do we got here? Neat little box. 
neat little box. Glock. <laughs> oh, that's a good sign, right? That's a good sign. Glock, you know what they make, right? What are these? Little magnets? Okay. What's this for? Mr. Potato Head? Or this just for refrigerator magnets? I don't know. Okay. That, I like that. I like it a lot. The box is cool. Really? It is kind of cool. Hmm. Actually, the box, I might put that aside. Now I'm going to put it aside. What's this? Feels kind of like leather, but it's not. It's neat, though. Oh, yes, guys. Okay, now we're talking. Oh, come on. Oh, coins. Ooh, that's an Indian head penny. That's an Indian head penny. Oh, yes. It's a little, uh, it's got a patina on it, so it's hard to see, but I think it's 1901. I don't know. I can't really see it. My eyes aren't so good, and I don't have a loop with me, but I think it's 1901. It's a little plastic ring. That's good. Just any coins we find, it means they were into that kind of stuff. That's a nice little jewelry tray or whatever. A little pendant. A little cross. It's nothing. It's nothing. But this, that's 925 silver right here. Probably, oh, that looks like some amber in there. Little tiny pendant with amber. That could be silver. Little soccer ball pendant. That's nothing. But this looks like it could be gold. I'm thinking it probably is gold. <laughs> ah, there's markings on there. And that definitely looks to be gold, but I can't see that small. Oh, this is good, guys. I knew this was going to be a good one. I, I can't see. I knew it was going to be a good one. I had a feeling this was going to be a good one. Let's put it that way. Phone gets really crummy. That blown up. Mm-mm. Not getting it here, guys. This is just the lighting, everything. I'm pretty sure that's gold, though. I'd say that's 14K. If I had to bet my life on it, I'd say it's 14K. But I'm glad I don't have to bet my life on it. Mm, that's pewter. Book of hugs. And okay, whatever. What we got here? Some little clips. A piece of wood. Okay. What's this? This looks like uh, copper or something. No, it's not copper. It's nothing. It's another fish. Cool. What's that? It's nothing. I don't think that's silver, but it could be. Eh, it could be. I'll have to look at that closer. That is pretty. Whoa. Look at this piece here. That could be silver. Uh, there's definitely some potential, but that gold right there is the most most potential. Wait, we didn't look in here? Ooh, ooh, Tiffany. <laughs> oh, don't forget about that. What is that? That's a little silver pendant. Some sort of stone in it. A little enamel fish pendant. It's cool. Wow. Okay. I got excited. I thought that was gold, but it's not. It says China right there. I don't know. It's just costume. It's pretty cool, though. A little flip-flop. It's nice. I thought it was gold, though. Nope. It might be gold-plated. What is this? Oh, look at this little tiny heart pendant. Sterling silver. You can just tell. Maybe it's Tiffany. Maybe it's just in a Tiffany bag. I don't know. I don't know. That's some good stuff right here. There's a lid for something. Oh, that right there. Nice. That's cute. Okay. There's a little belt for something. All right, guys. That's good. I'll put all that jewelry aside. And the glasses. And this box, maybe, perhaps. Mm, no, I'll just let that go. Okay. Now. Oh, wow. I mean, this looks, this is used, but they put the cardboard back in, so you gotta hand it to them. They are organized, and it's got some wear there where it's worn through the non stick coating. I'm just gonna let that go. Mmm, looks like a nice rice cooker right here. Okay, this is nice. Very cool. Very cool. So this is all this like animal skin, um, leather. So, oh, this is music. Wow, it's like a, a, a squash with the little beads on it. That's neat. Pretty cool. Instapot right here. I think this is expensive. It says twelve dollars ninety nine cents on it. Unfortunately, they put it right on the label there. But I think this Instapot's a few bucks. And what do we got here? A nice, nice crock pot. Let's see what the brand is. Hamilton Beach. Okay, that's all right. 
Rapid fire, clear flame. Oh, you start fires with this. That's nice. Uh, the Instant Pot, I looked it up. It sells for like 25 to 40 bucks used on eBay. So not a super big value and I got to test it. So I'm just going to bring it in the market. Hope to get 10 bucks. Oh, this looks good. Okay, a little good. Mm, not that good. Mm, a lot of uh, makeup in here. Let's, let's, look, let's, look, let's look at it. Okay, nail polish galore, right? Bush, it says. I don't know, is that a good brand? It's decent stuff. These people had decent stuff. Castor oil, brand new seal. Water pick. What's this? Oh, little mirror, lighted mirror thing. Sonic here or something right here. Oh, it's curling irons, etc. But you do for men. Yeah, there's hair in there. I'll sometimes reuse that. Not when there's hair in there. That kind of draws the line for me. Nourishing and moisturizing beauty bar. What? It smells pretty good. It's half used though. Hair mask. Huh. huh. John Frieda foam color. There's some mousse. Hydro cream whip. You got to whip it. Whip it good. Do 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 do. All right, dang it, we. What's in here? Silken. Let's see what silken is. Hmm. Whatever that is, it's awfully fancy. I, I don't. Is it a zit popper or something? Why does she have it on her cheeks? Suction intensity. Um. I don't know, guys. Is that anything? Is that some value? I I might put it. I don't know. I might put it aside. Maybe we'll look closer what do we got here patera sk2 facial treatment essence oh oh do we have some perfumes here zara fruity and i don't know what that one is this right here looks good see it's got that big top on it donna karen okay we got some perfumes here thank thank them later for uh putting a nice bag so it doesn't spill all over everything okay lotions more hair products. There's MAC. A little bit left in there. Not too much. Pore Ritual. It's a nice razor. My goodness. There's a brawn. Looks nicer than my razor. I wonder if we can find the cord. What is that? That looks fancy. What is this for? I don't know what that's for. Sunbeam. A lot of little gadgets and doodads in here. What's this? Oops. Oh my goodness, that's blinged out. Look at that. A little traveling curling or flat iron or something. Levla from Milani. Milani? A lot more product here. Looks like some decent stuff too. Foundation. NYX Honey. Do me up. Suki exfoliating cleanser. What's this? Vitamin oil serum. That looks expensive. There's something spilled in here. That looks expensive too. Meme night cream. Some of this stuff is sells on the secondary market for a decent amount. I don't know, guys. Boschia. Doesn't feel like there's much in there. Wait, some more stuff in here. It looks like a little bit more perfume there. It's bagged and bagged. Double bag. What is going on here? Meteorites. I'm going to put that aside because that right here, Guerlain, Paris, that is an expensive brand. It's almost gone, whatever it is. Tightening neck cream. All right. Boy, we've been through all that stuff and barely anything in the garbage. This is a clean locker. Oh, ooh, ooh. what do we got here? What do we got here? Hmm, progressive. That's not a. Uh, that's not an all clad. So we can let that go. That's okay. That's all right. That's safe. Corn on the cob stuff. These are cool. 
not exactly sure what this is for. Steam plate, it says. Microwave only, for the microwave only. What is this for? That does not seem microwavable, but I guess it is. It feels plastic. It looks like metal, but it is plastic. You know, this is actually kind of neat. I think you put water in it, and then you put some veggies or something, and you steam it. And for the meal plan I'm on, uh, that I, that could come in handy, guys. I don't know. I, I always get crazy and start thinking I'm going to keep a bunch of stuff, and it's not usually a good idea because I have too much stuff. But um, I am tempted to keep that. I might use that. This is Pyrex. Nice. This is a George Foreman right here. There's some nice tongs. Jeez. A little thermometer. Modern twist. A little silicon, like a, I think, like a trivet, basically. And that's nice. A little tiny uh, skillet. What's this for? What's that for, guys? Do you know? It's different. It's silicone. Huh. I don't know what that's for. Okay, what's this? Lodge. That's a lodge. Cast iron right there. This one right here. $2.99. That's what that was. A crab. That's cool. The lodge. I don't really want to take this home. But I won't get that much in stocking for it. It's decent. Lodge is decent. I think that should be at least 10 bucks. We'll try to get it. We'll try to get it. Oh boy, there's a lot more pots and pans here. Okay. Oh, these look decent right here. These definitely look better. Demi. Demiyin. These are kind of nice, right? Stainless steel. Um, the full set here. Boy, these guys like to cook. They had all clad and now they got these. I have never heard of this brand before, but we've got four pieces with some lids and they seem decent quality they, they seem it they might not be we'll have to look those up see if they got value i'm not going to rush that to stockton let's see what else we got here these look like cheap lids revere wear with the copper on the bottom it's decent it's okay it's pots there's a lot of just regular stuff nothing impressive not not that i see Little nice frames. Yeah, those do that. Oh boy, look at this, guys. That's brand new attack. Little well, rocking horse. Salvage. Huh, that's a nice, I think it's nice. This is salvage, I don't know why, but BU from Goodwill, huh? 1350. That's a nice little piece right here. Uh, I think my grandkids a little old for this now. Uh, I'm sure we got, well, we got plenty more grandkids coming, so. Might use it, but I'm gonna let it go. There'll be more rocking horses, don't worry. Okay. This right here appears to be like a, I think either a shelf unit or, I don't know, these little cross things right here. This is maybe an awning or tent or something. Oh, you know what it might be? Look at this right here. Might be like a little greenhouse. And that's the shelves right there. That could be, definitely be. Okay, what is this? This looks like a puzzle. I think it's a puzzle here. Legend of the King. Yep, one wood puzzle. Wood puzzle. Neat. Here's another one. That's pretty cool. Nice little wood sign. Goodwill, three bucks. Okay. Little toys. Prog, check me out. <laughs> That's funny. That's neat. Action plates. There's some vinyls. John, John Denver and the Muppets. Wait, Jimi Hendrix, huh? There's the signatures there. Oh, There's a signature here too. There's some kind of a card game here. That looks fun. Okay. And a beanie baby. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I took that load down to the car. Came back up at this unit right here. The guy had it rolled up and he had his stuff all here. I was like, 
oh, do you want me to move my stuff? He's like, no, it's all right. He was just on his lunch break, killing some time. Uh, it's kind of funny, we have this huge facility here, and uh, the only place was right next to us. There's a nice uh, comforter right there. It looks like it was on sale for 10 bucks. Clearance, 10 bucks. North Face, nice. Little kid's jacket. North Face, that's, yeah, that's pretty nice. Look at that. Kid's socks, 10 pairs, brand new, you guys. That's, what the, this is like a lot of brand new merchandise right here. Look at that. Batman stuff. Hmm. Uh, that is also nice right here. It's got like a memory foam inside. Thermofit, Nike, kids, but that's good. Man, ah, this stuff is like too nice for Stockton. I say that about just about everything I find, but um, seriously, this is uh, like some decent stuff. Odermeyer? Obermeyer. Seems kind of nice too. Mustang soccer, all right. Somebody had a kid in the soccer league around here. Take flight, Cub Scout, 2016. It looks like it's all kid clothes in here. But kind of nice stuff. Look at that Polar Extreme, brand new. North Face, dang. Huh. Brand new gloves right here. Head gloves, nice, good quality. Batman. Huh. All right, guys, I'll go through the rest of this bag, pull out anything interesting. There's Gap Kids. Like, if I find more North Face or something, I'll pull it out. But it's more Batman. There's Star Wars. That's cool. Falcom. This is good stuff. Nice Adidas. Yeah, it's really nice stuff. <laughs> There's some Oshkosh, Megosh, Genuine Kids right there. Overalls. That is pretty funny. That's for a 5 toddler, 5T. That is totally what I was rocking when I was a kid. <laughs> Love that stuff. Okay, what is this? Oh, the business kit. Demystifies the process of starting and operating a successful business. Kit includes audio cassette, booklets, business plan packet, template packet. How funny. All right. <laughs> Boy, people will buy anything, I guess. Yep. All right. Sold. Uh, wow. Okay, that's, oh, that's a Samsung. It's a foot massager, right? A little foot bath, foot spa, sauna, spa, whatever you call it. Salvage, it says. Powerbot. Wait. No, this is not, I thought it was a foot spa. That's what it looked like. No, this is like a, I, uh, what's it called, iRobot or whatever. Powerbot, R9000. It was a hundred bucks, marked down to $79.99. Even though it says salvage. This could have been like an Amazon return or something. Let me look this up and see what kind of value it's got. There's the one that's for parts only, 70 bucks, but best offer taken. There's just the charger, brand new, sold for 70 bucks. Parts only, 95 bucks. Why are they selling for so much? That's a decent value. I don't think I'm taking that to stock room. I think we're going to uh, list that. We'll either put, open it and take out some parts, like the charger or whatever, sell it individually, or we'll sell the whole thing for parts only. Huh. 95 bucks, 70, 70 to 95 bucks. That's a decent. All right, what else we got in here? Oof, there's a ton of mirrors. Okay, um, right here, Pioneer. This is a nice little turntable. Okay, that, need, that needle should not be floating around like that. You see it? Now this is cool, right here. It's got the stylus. Oh good, it's got a little flipper to pr protect the needle. Um, I'm surprised it doesn't have a lock for it though. Like Usually they have something that like, locks over to keep it in place. This one does not. This is in nice shape. As is, it says Goodwill, 50 bucks. Huh, and it is nice. You know what I'm gonna do? I put a couple of these sweatshirts aside, take to the better market. I'm gonna throw those in there. I try to give a little cushion to keep that stylus in its place. I do not want that floating around. Sometimes the stylus, this little head right here, is as much as the turntable, sometimes. That's not great. All right, that's good enough. Okay. It says it's as is, but it looks pretty dang nice. PL-150, no. PL-15D-2 stereo turntable made in Japan. The condition is very nice. This is there's a little scuffing on this, but overall these these are often cracked. Not this one. This is a good example, and I'm putting that aside. That's not going to stop. To. All right, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Take it to Danza, I guess. But Danza's our better flea market, guys. If you talk, hear me talking now, I'm probably just mumbling about where stuff goes, what market. I'm trying to de determine where I bring it. Stockton, we blow out most of our stuff there. Uh, this is, looks like they paid 10 bucks for this aquarium. That was a good deal. 
I have a feeling it's like for reptiles or turtles or something. I don't know. Not fish. Maybe. I just have a feeling. But uh, these are a hard sell at the market. But yeah, I try to determine where I'm going to sort this stuff to go. Uh, we do a lot of sorting, right? But ultimately, what I'm trying to find is the better stuff. And that's like the bin I built down there. I have a little better stuff here. I'm going to take, hold on to puzzles for a few minutes, even though they're only five bucks. I think those I can get more money for that. I have a few pieces here. This stuff's just a little odd, but I'm trying to find the better stuff to put into our live auctions. That's, that's you know, where the best stuff goes. Or eBay. Live auctions and Ebays. What is this? Palantir. Don't just talk about the future of data. Build it. I think it's a little souvenir. It looks like a microfiber cloth or something. I don't know. Some brand new party supplies here. This is good barbecue stuff. Look at this. Los Angeles these are made in. Huh. Good. LED heel clip. Clearance for six bucks. What's this? That's neat. Some birdhouses here. This is a cool. Pretty cool. Uh, I think I'll take it all to Stockton. It's, I mean, we're, I think we're gonna have a decent day at Stockton. Cause we have decent stuff coming out of this and we have some decent stuff in the other lockers. The trailer's got good stuff on it. Better than most of the times we go out there. But usually the Stockton, we just dedicate the lower end stuff because they, we, the people out there just don't spend very much money. That's what that, stock, that Stockton flea market's known for. But it's great for just moving massive amounts of stuff. And we do sell it very cheap, very cheap. Okay, what do we got here? Clothing. Oh, Victoria Beckham. Looks like it's 35 bucks. It's new with tags though. Huh. The rabbit's on here. That's kind of cool. Red camel. Oh man, look at this. Land's End. Brand new. Ooh, that might be some stuff to go into our live auction. I was just start talking about that. Um, really, like eBay and our live auctions is where we bring the best stuff that we find. Uh, that's where we sell it. The most exciting stuff. Victorious, brand new with tags, 70 bucks, brand new with tags, guys, come on, what's in here? Um, that's really, I mean, like, I'll go through this whole locker, we'll, I'm not really looking for stuff to go to Stockton or Dienza, that's just the ways to make it go away. Um, really, I'm trying to find stuff to sell in our auctions and eBay. Wall Street Journal, oh, look, 1980, guys, 1980, that's kind of neat. Blast from the past right there, I was 10 years old. Somebody's first birthday, 1981, wow. All right, I don't think there's any gift cards left in there. But um, yeah, we'd sit and sell on our live auction and, and I wanna invite you guys over to do what not with us. That's where we sell. We've been selling a lot of this great stuff, what not. It's a live app for your phone. And that is, man, this is some like baby stuff here. I feel like maybe we should put it back in the side and give it to the office maybe then give it to the owners i don't know if they can contact the owners or not but i think we should give this kind of stuff back to them let's let, get this back to them and let them figure it out offices don't always want to take it but when they do i'm happy because at least there's a chance it's going to get back to them uh that was zero dollars what a deal that'd be great at the stockton free sale <laughs> Just kidding. It's probably a two-piece, and that was the second piece or something. Another brand new tags. Blue Bella. Huh. Tags. All, a lot of brand new stuff in here. More tags. Uh, this stuff, though, is like, it's weird. These tags are different. More tags. It's almost like these are, like, imported stuff or samples or something. Huh. Uh, I don't know. That's so weird tags. Usually tag stuff. Ooh, this is nice. What is this? This feels like cashmere. Croft and Barrow. Okay, made in China. 36 bucks from Kohl's. It seemed like cashmere. I don't think so. This is silky. But is it silk? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I got distracted, guys. Please join us on... Jones, New York. That's decent. It, join us on Whatnot. Uh, we do them almost every week. Not every week, but almost every week. We're there. Charter Club right there. And... Uh, Usually Thursdays at 4 p.m., but we may change that from time to time. So just follow us, and we'll, we'll figure it out together, All right? <laughs> we post on social media when we're going live, but, uh, man, we do a lot of really fun auctions there. Red Camel, is that something good? I don't know, guys. I like denim. Um, and if you've never done it, if you've never been, what is that? What is that? Shoulder straps, what's it for, though? Hmm. 
you're gonna have a good time or whatnot if it's your first time. And if it is your first time, check out the link that I'm putting in the description of this video because if you use that to sign up, it will get you $15 for free to spend on whatnot. But basically what it is, it's a live streaming app that they built for live auctions specifically. And they're, they're going off like 24 hours a day pretty much, seven days a week. You can buy almost anything under the sun. I mean, maybe not furniture and stuff, but anything that ships, it sells and there's some collect there's some really good collectibles you get some good deals and we sell the more interesting stuff we find in here I, and, and i am hoping there's going to be a lot of that kind of stuff in these boxes right i've been coming kind, of, kind of carving in carving around here trying to get the flea market stuff first because i'm going to the flea market tomorrow but the good stuff i'm bringing home and we're going to sell and uh probably whatnot all right and i'll try to hold it until after we see this video we do our best anyways not always it doesn't always work out that way but we'll try mondo llama color your own train kit that's cool um this kind of stuff we probably wouldn't sell in the auction even though i think this is brand new it just doesn't ship very well because it's so huge but jewelry coins toys uh video games funko pops i don't know it, all kinds of stuff really we sell all kinds of stuff and all bids start at one dollar a little trampoline uh one dollar so you don't got to spend a lot of money it's you can get some real good deals on an hour or whatnot not everyone starts at a buck but that's how we do it what do we got here Ooh, some crystal glass or crystal um i don't see a signature on it though still pretty nice but i don't see anything to indicate that it's like waterford or something that caliber it is <laughs> six bucks something from 1987 right there that's kind of neat hard to ship that stuff though. there's an older monopoly game right here jack lalane's power juicer these used to be worth some money hmm. there's some nice utensils here like a whole barbecue set it looks like tongs and everything but we just found a set that's brand new in the locker i think one i did with camille brand new i think it's from costco so i probably won't keep that in the jack lalane juicer maybe we can try to get 20 bucks for that tomorrow it's just gonna be cheap 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 maybe i'll look it up first all right look at the the prices here guys the sales 125 for pre-owned 75 for an open box 59 for a brand new well, that's weird and then 99 for a brand new they're all over the board maybe this one's got a bunch of accessories or something because that seemed high for a uh, used one but i think that should probably be 30 or 40 bucks right there at the market I, I we will not get that tomorrow i'd be happy to get 20 but i think at a decent market that should probably be 30 or 40 bucks maybe i don't know but whatever we'll let it go man look at these um hula hoops right here that is huge and they're they're not light like usually they've got the flimsy hollow plastic these are foam with something thicker in the middle are these really hula hoops maybe they're not maybe there's some kind of i don't know kid activity stuff Whew, i can't even get that one those are a little big um those will have to go on the next load too De definitely don't want to drop that oh look at that strider that's uh jeez i think it's brand new it's hard to say it's hard to say if they taped it but uh oh right there 50 bucks 50 bucks for that strider oh these are cool right they're like walkers right there's no pedals they just flood fred flintstone themselves across these last time i had one uh it sold right in the morning at the flea market and i think i got 15 or 20 bucks for it hmm this would actually be good for our grandkid <laughs> i'll put it aside that doesn't mean we're gonna keep it. it just means i'm gonna take a second to decide on that that's cool pink too what do you know i think our granddaughter only wears pink i think she like only wants to pick things out that are pink i think she's in that phase right now all right let's see what's here but yeah if i didn't finish what i was saying about whatnot guys so much fun oh okay wetsuits here dang this is uh another hard sell in stockton it is let's see 25 bucks at goodwill on that so mm, ton of them all wetsuits guys there's like i think there's like six or seven wetsuits here that looks like a pretty decent one too just because it was 25 bucks at Goodwill doesn't mean it was worth 25 bucks, right? Could be worth more. Okay, that's not going to Stockton. I just know I won't get anything. I got to take my time on that, even though I don't really have a good plan because we haven't been to DMs in six months. We won't be going next month because uh, we'll be at a wedding or something. So uh, <laughs> the DMs and stuff stacks up. Oh, well. 
All right, what do we got here? Oh, 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 the North Face, brand new, could it be? What the heck, those are brand new. North Face boots, that is good. And uh, they look a little small, but that'd be great if they're my size, I might even keep them. The rest of this stuff, what's that, Troen Torp, is that good? You got like a wood base, they feel good quality, but I don't know. United Nude. Gold Toe? Gold Toe's a good brand. Dr. Scholl's made in Italy. What? For reals? Dr. Scholl's made in Italy. I think I did find a Dr. Scholl's recently, and you guys told me, no, Dr. Scholl's can actually be worth some money. Unless I made the whole thing up in my mind. That's a possibility, too. Made in China. I'm almost tempted to keep these, but nah, we'll let them go. But these I'm going to put aside. There's the old lock right there. Hmm. Oh, here's some brand new cards. We haven't found that in a while. Oh, and they're nice too. These are some good qualities. Trader Joe's cards. I don't see the price on there. Trader Joe's. This is a good quality. Look at that. Happy birthday. Heck yes. You remind me of this really cool person I used to hang out with. <laughs> oh wait, that was you. Miss you. A little guilt trip for your friends there. These are cool. All right, we put these aside. And guys, this is the kind of stuff we sell in our live auction, believe it or not. Brand new cards. Because, uh... They're so expensive. They were expensive before our politicians caused so much inflation, right? Now they're even, I mean, I think I went to the store to get Jana a card the other day. Not the other day, but the other month. And it was like, I think it was almost 10 bucks. I think it was 10 bucks with tax for a stinking greeting card. That's just obscene. Half price books, clearance dollar. Oh, gross. There's glitter everywhere. Look at all the glitter. What the heck? Why is it all spilling out? Oh man, look at this. Glue, school glue. Five bucks worth of white glue right there. <laughs> okay, there's some, I don't know, pack a gift, gift bag filler. This is good. Sharpies, oh, this seems really light though. I think these are dried up. Bows, Seasons Greed and Kate Spade holiday cards. That's some more good cards. More Kate Spade Greed cards. Journal with 50 sheets right there. I'll put that aside. Look at that. Mainstays. Food prep containers. Look at these duct tapes. 650 clearance. My goodness. Yeah, I'm taking that home. <laughs> Not for sale. For fun. Whoa. Hearth in hand with Magnolia. Oh, Magnolia. Uh, Chip and Joanna Gaines, right? That's five bucks on clearance. That is a cool set of scissors. Originally 17 bucks. I'll put that aside. A pack of tape, we'll use that. Spray adhesive. Oh, look at this. Nice stamps. See that? These are usually pretty expensive. I'll put those aside too. All right, guys. Oh, oh whoa. Notes by Dr. Dre. Oh, I hope we find that. I'm going to put that aside in hopes that we find it and I can get the, get the uh, cover back on it. Be worth more that way. Oh, that's a decent box. All right, next box. Okay. All right, there's some more stamps. Not, not, well, that one's okay. But I like the other ones better. This is more like kid stuff. That's a, that's a decent quality stamp. Craft Smart, it says. These foam ones aren't as good, but we'll still probably sell them since we're selling some. There's some refrigerator magnets. I don't know. It's more like kid type stuff. Maybe I'll just take the good ones out. Let the rest of them go. There's some Play-Doh. Yeah. Okay, hair dryer, Infinity Pro, Con Air, looks decent. What is this? Huh, it's got some weight to it. That's a nice uh, scarf or something, huge. What is that, you guys? Shawl, I don't know. Table, it, can't, it doesn't look like a tablecloth. Maybe it's for the bed? It's just a little big. Maybe it's like one of those full body wraps or something. That could be. Okay, there's some nesting dolls with Santa Claus, wood ones. Seven bucks on it, it says. They're a little nicked up, right? But still, still neat. Nesting dolls is just cool. What's this? Country Christmas ornaments, okay. Mm, I'll let that go to the market. And last thing, a little shell. Oh, it's an ornament. Ceramic shell with an angel, I don't know. Whatever. These things I'll put aside. Okay, cool cutting board there. Made in Thailand. 
$25 at Rayleigh's and it was on sale for something. That's nice. You can make a little charcuterie board on there. That'd be cool. Picture. Neon sign. Be happy. I think this lady is just a shopaholic, really. That's $12.50 on sale. Do good. That was on sale. And what's this? More love. A little cheap neon signs. Masubi maker. Oh, for sushi. Oh, Day of the Dead pan. Wilton. Cake pan. That's cool. That's that's neat. I'll put that aside. <laughs> I like putting the little weird stuff aside. And then, what's this? Hamilton Beach Drink Master. Drink mixer. Hmm. Huh, okay. That's cool. Alright, guys. Two trips to the car with this huge flatbed. Actually, they have another flatbed, but it's locked up, and I don't, I don't want to go get the key from the office. I'm just going to keep using it. So, two... Only two. Wow. Okay. Um, are we half done? I don't think so. <laughs> but I'm getting all the kind of sloppy, awkward stuff out. And, uh, well, there's a little bit more. A little bit more. Uh, this right there. But this is all good stuff that I'm putting aside. Or these are, that's the empties right there. But full there. All decent stuff there. Stuff that I got to slow down on putting our live auction the whatnot like i said earlier please guys come join us there but also ebay there's some stuff on ebay like the lanterns will probably go on ebay that samsung robot vacuum that's probably go on ebay there's some stuff to go on ebay and there's some stuff to take to the better flea market over there that i just can't blast out at stockton you know so um but i'm starting to think i'm not going to finish today because these take longer uh if they're good if they're mixed up stuff and we have to go through everything this can take longer but oh man these are so much fun i may actually just like we'll see if i can load it all today time wise i could do it if i just stop going through it bust it out but it's got to go somewhere it's got to be dealt with later on tomorrow i'll go on the market so um doesn't leave me much time but anyways i may just load them up bring them to my unit drop them off blah 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 but anyways guys I'm not done working today. I've got like, I think five more hours before they close and I'm gonna utilize every minute that I can. But for now, we're gonna end this video, all right? Uh, we're gonna end this one and I'll just start right back up. Filming, 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 digging, digging, digging. Hopefully, treasure, treasure, treasure. We'll find out together. Okay, so far this one's been pretty good. Started out strong. Uh, found some interesting stuff, uh, decent quality. Definitely they're clean people, but um, a lot of Goodwill items. So a lot of stuff they bought, you know, discount and on Goodwill. A little bit of a shopaholic, I think. A little bit of a hoarder, too. Uh, just an organized hoarder. Because they bought more than they needed, and they're just, like, storing stuff in here. But at least it's organized. And it's fun. But I'm hoping we find better stuff in here. But I'm starting to get the feel like this was stuff that either the lady or gentleman or whoever bought impulsively and didn't want to... It maybe ran out of that room in their house and just wanted to keep. And that's what I'm feeling like this is. Which means there won't be any, like, jewelry boxes. Found a little jewelry already, but... I don't think there's gonna be any jewelry boxes. I don't think that coin collections, that kind of stuff. But I might be wrong. Let's hope I'm wrong. Let's hope there's some real treasures in here. Uh, we're gonna find out for sure. I guarantee it in the next episode. Until then, good luck to you. God bless you. And we'll see you next time here on Zilaga Nuts. Definitely going in the keeper bin for sure. For sure. Okay, this one, that is sealed. Brand new, that's a factory seal. Build your own flying ornitho ornithopter. Geek and Company Science. I don't think we'll auction that. I don't know. Ooh, this is neat though. Grumblies. 